YouTube released the terms of service yesterday, updating their so-called bullying and got more strict and and everybody gets upset every time YouTube updates their terms of service because they believe their freedom of speech is being wiped clean. Now, this video, what it's going to be about, is really kind of scary and spooky. And it really shows the dark side to YouTube. And this is just one particular individual that this is happening with. And I'm sure there's many more going on on YouTube. What has me questioning my brain, I mean, I got this question in my brain like, how is this person hidden under the radar from YouTube for so long? Or is YouTube really ignoring people like this and just thinking about the money? I, I, I'm just amazed at what, what, what I, as I go along here and the things I learn. And then I bring them to you for you guys to make the judgment call. There's a man named Chris Hansen. You know him. He had a TV show. And uh, what was that TV show? Wasn't it Catch a Predator? Mm -hmm. It was Catch a Predator by Chris Hansen. He has a YouTube channel called Have a Seat with Chris Hansen. And I'll have a link at the bottom. You can go check it out. He doesn't have that many videos. He's been following a person called Oenisian. I am probably even saying that wrong. Um, his actual name is Greg Jack Jackson. He's married. And he's married to a person named Taylor Elaine Anderson, who is called Kai, who is transitioning into a male. So the female is becoming a transgender. I hope I got all that right. And they're still married. And they apparently have kids too. This story is weird. It really is weird. I mean, the man has over three channels. Um, his better half has a, a, cha a, a channel or so whatever. And there's forums involved. I mean, the amount of detail that went into this is just crazy. And the thought process that has gone into this, people would even say, you're going to have to be the judge for yourself. You really are. And when you get done watching my video, head on over and watch some of Chris Hansen's video and you be the judge. But um, let me tell you a little bit about this guy because I'm sure some of you guys don't even know who this is. You're probably like, never heard of him. You know, and if you have kids, you really want to listen to this. You really do. Um, let me see if I get this right. Okay, so who is... Oni Sion. I mean, what a weird name. Some people call him Onion Boy. Um, Jackson started uploading to YouTube in 2007 before creating a viral banana song video in 2009. He was one of the first successful YouTubers being featured on Tosh with multiple books to his name and more than 2 million subscribers. Josh, Jackson's next decade was wrought with controversial from a messy divorce from his first wife to an IRS edit of his finances. His content also shifted to judging the looks and appearances of his overwhelming young fan base while posting sometimes incoherent vlogs. Kai and Jackson have two kids together, which some worry may be caught in the middle of controversy. So, that's a little rundown of what he's been doing. And the banana song. I mean, you've never heard anything so stupid in your life. Literally, he can't, he can't even sing. I mean, literally, he jumps up and down in a banana suit and says, I'm a banana. And that went viral. You'd like scratch your head and say, how did that go viral? Well, Chris Hansen has women coming on his panel, and he's interviewing them, and they're talking about this, this man. I, I think he's in his 30s. I mean, and like they said, young audience. Now, I probably spent a day watching this guy's videos. I mean, he screams, he cries, he jumps up and down, he screams literally like a child, which would attract children to his videos. I mean, they would literally look at that and laugh. Now, way back when, 
there was uh, videos on YouTube, and it, they're now gone because some big YouTuber brought attention to them, that these people were dressing like Spider-Man, um, superheroes. They were acting like uh, silent movies. They weren't talking. So, and they were doing these really gross things. And just things kids would laugh at. Like they would pretend there was a fart coming out of their butt and they would put the poof and they would put a fart sound. And I mean, it goes beyond that. I'm trying to work with YouTube's algorithm here. But what ended up happening was little kids were watching these videos like crazy because they were funny. They'd rewind, they'd watch them again and again. And these people were making thousands of dollars from the AdSense. Well, this guy's videos reminded me of that. I mean, he literally had his video where he'd start talking in his video, and then he'd bring in a skit with Spider-Man and other creatures, which in turn would attract a younger audience, and then he'd come back to himself, and he'd go back and forth like this. But after listening to one of um, Chris Hansen's, Chris Hansen's uh, videos where he was interviewing this young lady, she had said his videos were designed around the girls. And basically, he was bullying these people. So if you knew the drama that was going on in his lifestyle, he would literally make a skit about this girl, demeaning her, putting her down, bullying her, and uh, just making them leave YouTube and everything else. Some people have called this guy... I can't even say these words. I mean, some people would have called this guy, you know, a uh, pedo. And, but there's no real proof of it yet. You see, he lives apparently in Washington State, and apparently 16's the legal age there, of age of consent in Washington. Um, but you got to be 18 for any form of nude photos. Now, off of YouTube, he created these forums. And he's even in Discord. And he basically has taken his fan base of younger girls. And they come off of YouTube. So now they don't have to follow YouTube's terms of service, right? And he created this forum with these weird titles. And these young girls that are 13, 14 were now uploading basically nude pictures of themselves to this forum. And he was judging them. But this gets even... This even gets more interesting. What, how's this guy not in jail? I mean, this even gets more interesting. I mean, as this web weaves. Okay, his wife, Taylor Elaine Anderson, remember I said, is, uh, is, is being a transgender into a male. Well, also called Kai, and has his own channel. Now, Kai apparently grooms these younger girls for this only see on this onion boy guy and then they chat with them they get to know them in skype discord and whatever else and i guess they try to find a match for themselves and then see if they want to come down for a visit on a trip and have a threesome have an orgy this is really really messed up on so many levels. I mean, one of the girls said would classify him and Kai a monster. That's the word that uh, she used. Um, the one video was on Regina, and she stated Kai was grooming people all the time. Regina also stated YouTube knows what's going on and does nothing. Now, I don't know why this person hasn't lost their YouTube channel and why YouTube hasn't looked into this more. I mean, um, Chris Hansen is asking for an interview from the CEO of YouTube, and he's trying to get answers on why his interviews, some of them, he has to be careful to what he says with the algorithm because things are killed, but yet this guy continues on to make thousands of dollars. And I mean, his views are high, 50,000, 100,000 views on his videos. And there's no rhyme or reason to them. You really have to be within that network to understand. His 
I wouldn't say he's stupid by any means. I would say he was quite intelligent on how he uses his manipulation to control these young girls. But yet at the same time, these other girls that are his fans don't believe these other girls. They think it's drama. They think they're just trying to get him in trouble. And these are 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds. And then you go back and you think, well, Kappa just come into play, right? Interesting. There seems to be a humongous problem on YouTube, and I'll bet this ain't the only guy out there doing this. Now, Mr. Onion Boy here, he had a Patreon account, and he had 560 supporters, and most of them were donating at least $5 a month to get access to his private Instagram and to use his forums for his fans. I mean, this guy sat down and has done, done his research and reading. And he obviously believes he's better than everybody else and above the law. I, I can see that when I, when I see his videos. He knows this is going on with uh, Chris Hansen there. And yet he'll go and make a video saying, everybody thinks I'm guilty. But then he'll cry and jump around on the screen. I mean, he's literally making fun of it, like he's antagonizing them. Y you've just never seen um, anything like this in your life. And I would suggest you go and join Chris Hansen and subscribe to his channel because every week another video is coming out. And he is going to have a meeting. Apparently, he's both trying to get an interview with the CEO from YouTube. I'm interested to hear what she has to say because he wants to ask questions like, you know, the algorithm's broken. You're crucifying innocent people and letting guilty people get away with this. And there's girl after girl testimony coming up on what this couple does. And it's just out there on... And some people have even hinted the FBI is doing an investigation, which I'm sure they are now. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, when you start getting into nudes of kids and, I mean, just manipulation and people being groomed and... I mean, this is a whole level of just, you might even go as far, and Chris, Chris Hansen had said it was, um, is this a cult? And I'd seen some people in the comment section even wrote, well, he did try to start his own religion. I mean, this guy's out there. And what I found interesting, like I said, if you have kids, you really want to go watch these interviews, and you really want to listen to these girls. Because... You want to know what your kids are into on the internet. You would think YouTube's a pretty safe place, but this guy has found a way to circumvent all the rules of YouTube, even when they keep coming out stronger and stronger and stronger and getting away with it. If anything, this guy's definitely a case for COPPA. Definitely. And I got a feeling he knows he's going down. I think he knows that his channel's going to be gone. He's got three channels, and this Kai, his wife, who is a transgender, has also got a channel. And I got a feeling they know their channels are going. So I'll bet, like any predator, that they're already setting up on some other social media website to redirect their fan base. And the sad part is, over a million subscribers this guy's got. I mean, the really sad part about all this is, is that you always have a girl that doesn't believe, that believes, hey, that's my fan. She's a fan. And she's got him up on that cloud so far, and he takes advantage of everything, from insulting them to picking on their weight, uh, their hair. I mean, he's manipulating them, and they are so young, they don't even understand. And that's the sad part. It really is. Now, normally I have a whole bunch of links in my videos. I'm not going to have a bunch of links in my videos here, guys. I have one link going to Chris Hansen's uh, YouTube channel, so you can go watch him yourself. But I am going to have, in the bottom of my video here, okay, I'm going to have information that you can call 
If you experience any sexual abuse of any kind to the National Sexual Assault Hotline, I'll have that information there and their website. And I'll also have information there if you're even considering suicide and uh, suicide prevention. If anybody, I don't care who you are, if anybody's making you feel little and you're belittled and you're young and you feel like you can't talk to your parents, call these numbers. And don't let these people do this to you. You're better than that. You really are. And it is sad that this has gone on on YouTube for so long and they have looked the other way. They haven't done anything, even with all their rules that are apparently supposed to be doing something. You know, I remember a couple of years back, Alex Jones, if you don't know who he is, he always says that the government's out to get us and aliens. And I mean, he was out there when he talked, but was never anything to this level. And YouTube booted him off. But yet left this guy to continue. And the strange part is, people are reporting this guy video after video after video. And YouTube's done nothing. But now that Chris Hansen's gotten involved, I'm sure his YouTube channel is numbered. And I'm sure now something will be done. But this is what we're looking at. I mean, this doesn't seem like I don't know. It just seems wrong on so many levels that they're shutting down YouTube channels left, right, and center that are innocent compared to channels like this. It's not making any sense in my mind whatsoever. But when I watched those videos that uh, Chris Hansen did in those interviews, oh, my heart went over those young ladies. I was just like, man, those poor things. Now, a few of them had their great moms that actually came and just were great to them. But not every young girl has a mom. And this guy is waiting, just waiting to take advantage of anybody that comes along that um, this is a situation that's going to blow up. It really is. And he really does believe he's smarter than the world. And maybe that will be his demise. But, uh, and, and he's been around for years, over 10 years. I mean, you know, people have said they followed him for years waiting for him to be taken down. They can't believe he's still around. And he just gets away with it. There is definitely a lot going on here. And I think Chris Hansen has only hit the, only found out a little bit. And I think when they start going into the forums and the discords and going into the databases and taking a look at everything's going on. I think when the FBI gets their case together, oh, I think charges are going to be laid and people are going to go to jail. But, I mean, can you imagine that? You marry a woman and then she says, I want to be a transgender and be a man. And they didn't get divorced. I mean, he did a video on a fake divorce paper. I mean, he creates this drama and people just love watching it. But this is not drama. This is not make-believe. This is real. Young girls are getting hurt. And YouTube's TOS, even though they came up with that new one yesterday, I'm sorry. It failed. And it failed miserably. YouTube, shame on you. Wow. Catch you guys on the next one.